Welcome to this video on peristernal views. The peristernal area is at the left sternal border, approximately within the second, third, or fourth intercostal spaces. There are two separate views we can obtain in the peristernal area, the peristernal long axis and the peristernal short axis. To get the peristernal long axis, hold the probe like this, as if you were holding a pencil. Place the probe in an intercostal space at the left sternal border. Have the orientation marker point approximately to the right shoulder. Since the ultrasound probe cannot see through bone, we will use the intercostal spaces as a window into the heart. Start off by scanning the intercostal space, moving laterally until you see something move at the frequency of the heart rate. If you are not getting a view, sweep the probe to an intercostal space above or below and scan that intercostal space similarly. Once you see the moving heart partially, Use very fine rocking and fanning movements to improve the image. This is a peristernal long axis view. The easiest way to figure out anatomy is to identify a chamber and the direction of blood flow. The thick wall chamber here is the left ventricle. Blood is flowing from this smaller chamber into the left ventricle. The small chamber is the left atrium with the mitral valve in between. The outlet is the left ventricular outflow tract or the LVOT and the aortic valve is seen proximal to the LVOT. The chamber closest to the probe is the right ventricular outflow tract, or the RVOT. The interventricular septum can be seen between the left ventricle and the RVOT. The pericardial stripe is the hyperechoic shadow seen in the far field. The descending aorta can be seen in the far field near the left atrium. This is an important anatomic structure that differentiates pleural effusions from pericardial effusions. A good peristernal long axis image is obtained when all of these structures are visualized in the same plane. Let's move on to the peristernal short axis. To get a peristernal short axis image, find the peristernal long axis and rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise so that the marker on the ultrasound probe is facing the left shoulder as shown. There are three different levels at which the peristernal short axis views are obtained. Imagine the peristernal long axis in 3D. We rotated our probe 90 degrees, so are now looking at the heart in a different plane that is perpendicular to the long axis. The views are at the level of the papillary muscles, the mitral valve, and the aortic valve. To obtain the different short axis views, fan the probe cranially and you should see all three views if you go slowly. The first view is the peristernal short axis at the level of the papillary muscles. The thick-walled left ventricle is apparent, as well as the papillary muscles. The right ventricle is by its side, with the interventricular septum in between. The next view is at the level of the mitral valve. The fish mouth appearance of the mitral valve within the left ventricle can be seen, and the right ventricle to the side. The next view is obtained by further fanning of the probe. This is at the level of the aortic valve. This view shows a circular shadow in the center. This is the aortic valve with its three leaflets. The tricuspid valve is adjacent to the aortic valve and the right atrium is seen next to the tricuspid valve. The left atrium is adjacent to the right atrium. The pulmonic valve and the right ventricular outflow tract are seen in the near field. These are the views in the parasternal area. Thanks for watching.